Hi, I'm the Mold Activist and I hope you all had a good weekend because we're going to crack this weekend open with this beautiful heavily peated Port Charlotte 10 years old. For those of you that don't know, Port Charlotte is a peated style of whiskey made at uh, the Bruchladek Distilleries and it's the brainchild of Sir Jim McEwen, ex-master distiller of Bruchladek. Now I don't know if he's been knighted yet, but I call him Sir. In the meantime, I've got my hands on this heavily peated 10 year old uh, Port Charlotte and this incidentally hasn't been made by Sir Jim McEwen, it's in fact got the signature of the new distillery manager, Mr. Adam Hannett. So interesting. So I've had this whiskey before at the distillery itself and it's a pretty awesome whiskey. You know what I love? Check out, check out the embossing on this on the back. Stylish, cool. I like it. I love, I love these new bottles. They're amazing. Very cool. Okay, on to the dram. Ah, signature Isla. Perfect. Everything we know and love about that island, it's all here in a glass. I would have thought, you know, if you hadn't told me, I would have thought that this maybe is some type of hybrid Ardbeg. But it's not, it has a very strong juniper um, and berries note that you don't find in Ardbeg and I think that would have been my point of distinction on this. Still, lovely nose and so I'll tell you how this has been constructed. This is a vatting of three different types of spirits. You have 65% first fill bourbon, then you have 10% second fill bourbon and finally you have 25% second fill French oak wine casks. So uh, this has been a cleverly constructed little whiskey, you know. Um, Hannett knew what he was doing. I don't think he was after a certain very specific flavor profile and you know that's how this marriage of these three different casks happened. So on the nose it feels quite young, quite sprightly, uh, very peppery. I get hit by that you know Isla suit and peat uh, and tar almost immediately but in a very balanced way. Now I get more sort of charred meats, fishnets, seaweed. It's like it's like a it's like a barbecue on on the beach, but very subtle because it has sweeter notes as well. You know, it has that vanilla pears, grapes. <sighs> Overall, I really like this nose. It's um, it's almost what you would call a signature Isla nose. I don't know if there is such a thing. It might be almost sacrilegious to say something like that. But you know, uh, there are certain whiskeys and there are certain aromas that when you nose, it transports you to that island. And for those who've been, you know what I'm talking about. And for those who haven't, what the hell are you waiting for? Get your ass down to Isla. It's a good nose, um, it's, uh, it's nice balance between uh, the peat smoke uh, and the fruitiness. Uh, it works for me, I like the citrus uh, in there as well, which is very nice. Uh, and uh, But more importantly, I got this, you know, um, very, very distinct juniper berries uh, note uh, first time around, sort of reminded me of uh, gin. Very herby, very herbaceous. Yeah, good nose. <sighs> yeah, oh, nice, very nice. So this is bottled at 50%. Ooh, lovely. Ooh. Good delivery, uh, very oily, uh, very viscous, uh, again quite fruity, I get vanilla, custard, lemon and that sooty and that peaty smoke uh, is in there as well. 
uh, but then you have the berries that I spoke about uh, in the nose that come through as well lots of citrus lots of vanilla I don't know if I mentioned that already um, and the finish is super uh, long and warming and extremely nice um, yeah again very citrusy very peaty very smoky uh, but in a nice way you know I know it says heavily peated on the bottle but it doesn't seem like it's overly peated or overly uh, smoky like you would expect the Octomores to be. Uh, this is a nice essay in balance. Uh, I like the uh, spices that come through as well from the French oak. So in my opinion, wow, this is a very, very accomplished whiskey and I think it's been constructed with a very, you know, uh, distinct uh, sense of direction and, uh, you know, Adam Hannett's just sort of nailed this perfectly in my opinion. This is one of those whiskeys, and I don't say this about many whiskeys. Um, this is the one I would take with me to the battery on Isla and sit down and just overlook the ocean and just, you know, just chill and maybe have a cigar with a bunch of friends and polish a bottle off uh, this Port Charlotte 10 year old because that's exactly uh, where I want to be when I drink this whiskey. And to me, that's probably the highest compliment I can give to a whiskey that comes out of Isla. Uh, something that, you know, uh, wants me to go there immediately, then I think it's kind of done its job. Mm. I could drink this all day. And this is so much like an art bag. I wouldn't be able to tell this apart in a blind tasting, to be honest. I would 100% say Art Bag or some type of Kiloman, but I wouldn't say Port Charlotte. And I'm glad I'm able to add Port Charlotte to that, you know, uh, range of whiskeys that uh, that really do it for me. Nice. No chill filtration, no color added. This is this is what it looks like. Mm, no mangoes So yeah, am I happy? Yes, definitely very very happy. I this is just such a heartwarming Perfect whiskey that you can uh, you know uh, crack open on a rainy day uh, Or actually you know what any day because it's um, It's uh, it really hits uh, it really hits the spot and if you're an Isla file like me Then you know exactly what I'm talking about when you drink something like this because you just go whoosh, straight there so yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining me uh, for this whiskey review. I'm the Mod Activist. Until next time, peace.